What's up, folks? You guys, you guys are out there in Florida, and we're doing some short-term rental investing, right? We're going to be doing some Airbnb, some Verbo, and we're going to be doing that in the islands. But, but it's going to be a lot cheaper than you're thinking, number one, and it's going to be a lot different than you're thinking, number two. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am your host, James Wise. If you're talking about getting in the real estate game, if you're trying to learn this is where you want to be, right? So hopefully you dig what we're doing here on Holden Wise TV and you stick around and subscribe, right? Maybe you'll even click the show notes below to get a free console with my team to work with me one-on-one -on -one, like my man Jose's doing, right? Jose is an investor in Florida. <clears throat> I'm sure a lot of people that clicked on this video today are investors in Florida. Investors in Florida who are thinking about starting an Airbnb business or a Verbo or we're going to be utilizing all of the short-term rental property uh, platforms out there, right? We're not going to stick all of our eggs in one basket and only utilize Airbnb or only utilize Verbo, right? We're going to use them all, okay? <clears throat> so a lot of you in Florida thinking about getting started. That's great because I can help you do so, right? I can help you do so. But here's the thing. Jose doesn't want to pay the amount of money that it's going to cost to get a vacation rental in Florida on the water too much money right all that beautiful florida coastline you got to have buku bucks so jose has partnered with me and my company and we find people vacation rentals in highly profitable markets for a fraction of the cost today we're going to be going over a property that's going to have tourism draws from very popular islands as well as one of the largest amusement parks in the usa and i'm going to go over all the numbers you're going to be shocked at how cheap this thing really is i'm gonna go over all that for jose right after this quick break hey steve what are you doing oh nothing just saving money on my rental property insurance oh my steve take me now holton wise real estate investing made easy Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. We're going to pull up the property now, folks. Getting a vacation rental. Brand spanking new construction. By the islands. By one of the largest amusement parks in the country. <clears throat> and we're only going to have to spend about a hundred grand. Honestly, you can get away with only spending like 68 grand out of your pocket. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy, right? But that's what we're doing. We're talking about the Northeast Ohio real estate market, right? The Cleveland real estate market, right? It's probably what a lot of you uh, are used to hearing, right? Cleveland, 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 Cleveland. Well, this property's not in Cleveland. It's about 45 minutes west of Cleveland, okay? But on a national scale, when people are talking about Northeast Ohio, everybody usually says the Cleveland, the Cleveland market, right? You got the Indians, the Browns, uh, well, not the Indians, they're the Guardians now, depending on how woke you are. And then we got the Cavs, right? Cavs are doing good. We got all them seven-footers kicking booty, right? Okay? So everyone thinks it's Cleveland. But, the, you know, very big, very big metro area, right? The city of Cleveland, <coughs> like 350,000 uh, residents, something like that, right? The metro area that we operate in, the whole Wise operates in, we're talking like three, four million people, okay? So you go really far west to a little city called Vermilion. And Vermilion is a nice little vacation area, right? And it's got some very, very big draws to it, right? It's got a little something called Cedar Point, one of the largest amusement parks in America, right? In addition, it's got Lake Erie, one of the five largest freshwater lakes in the country, right? In Lake Erie, we have two very popular islands, Kelly's Island and Putin Bay. All the partiers, Go out there, right? Party it up. Putting Bay, honestly, it's it's kind of like uh, it's like a Mardi Gras 
vibe, okay? I spent many a nights totally hammed out of my mind in my early 20s on Putin Bay, okay? Not so much uh, these days. Got a bunch of kids and whatnot, and, you know, it's just my liver is just too old for that, okay? But uh, Putin Bay is a very, very nice place, and Kelly's Island's a little more family friendly, okay? It's kind of more my speed now. A little more family friendly, a little less Mardi Gras, but. All of which has a huge draw, right? Huge draw, okay? And here's the cool thing. <clears throat> because we're in an area like this where the cost of living is so low, you guys can pick up brand <laughs> new construction. This deal. I love this deal. I love this development because it's got something that most developments around here don't have, okay? It's 6030 Conneaut Light, Vermilion, Ohio, uh, 284537 This was like a model home, so it says it's been on the market forever. But it was kind of one of those things where the builder had put it out there and then people would reach out and then they'd be like, oh, well, we'll customize this house for you or we'll customize that one. So they're, like, they're moving. Don't think it's just sitting on the market, right? Brand new home, okay, in a brand new development, right? But here's the thing. Here's the, the layout, right? Because, again, they were using this to sell, like, the re you know, they were trying to sell out their uh, development, okay? Look at this. All fresh, all beautiful, all brand new, right? But here's the thing, right? If you're going to get in the short-term rental game, you're getting an Airbnb, Verbal, all that jazz, right? What you got to understand is the biggest drawback. Here's some other photos from, like, other homes they've done, right? Uh, the biggest drawback to nice new construction homes like this is the dreaded HOA, man. The HOA is our enemy. Okay, we don't like HOAs if we're doing short-term rentals, folks, because HOAs often <clears throat> restrict how you can utilize your property, and temporary rentals are one of those restrictions. But guess what? That's why I love this new development so much. No HOA. It is almost unheard of to get a brand new development like this with no HOA. And this thing is located in a primo spot, right? Here's the whole development, okay? Look at all these lots, all these new homes getting slapped in there. Still building it out, building this whole thing. And look at this, zooming out. Oh, that's why it's such a beautiful vacation area. Yeah, look at that beautiful lake right there, folks. This is where it's all at, right? So to the east... You got Cleveland, all that stuff. Downtown Cleveland, all the sports teams, the casino. To the west, we got Cedar Point. To the north, we got the islands, right? So we're going to get a huge draw. House is beautiful. House is nice. Don't need to worry about any issues with, like, deferred maintenance, any of this, right? You're getting brand new construction. But none of that should matter if it doesn't make money, right? You're all here to make money. So what do the numbers look like? Well, it's a four bed, a three bath, and we should be able to rent it for three seventy five a night. If we did that every night, we'd be bringing in almost $140,000 a year in rent. But don't get crazy, folks. <clears throat> Who in their right mind actually believes you're going to rent a short-term rental, however nice it is, however cool the location is, every night of the year? You won't. It's not going to happen, okay? Duh. Now, a realistic expectation of performance would be uh, renting at about 60 62% of the time. Then you factor in your cleaning fees, taxes, insurance, lawn care, paying Holton Wise to handle the investment for you because it doesn't matter where you live, folks. Holton Wise does the whole thing. That's why we get investors from Florida, investors from California, investors from New York, right? They all come to this market because they're looking for a cheaper cost of living. They are looking to be in areas where the landlord-tenant laws are fair, right? You want your landlord-tenant laws and rights to be like this, okay? You take places like New York, it's like, woo, tenants. You take places like Portland, tenants. Places like California, tenants, right? They're legislating out your ability to run your real estate empire, folks. You guys, and I shouldn't even say real estate empire. To be honest with you, the majority of you that are buying these properties, you're just normal, regular, hardworking Americans, right? Working hard at your job, saving up your money, and just trying to create a little bit better uh, <clears throat> legacy wealth in retirement for yourself, your family, right? That's what it is. All the vilification of landlords in those crazy markets like that is just out of control. So a lot of you guys come here. So the whole thing's passive. So, of course, in this performance chart, I have the fee you'll be paying us to handle the investment. So in reality, yeah, 
if you were doing it every day and there weren't any costs, it'd be like 140K. But we should really be a little bit above 50, right? A little bit above 50 for the year. Now, what's that going to look like? Well, they're asking 284, 537. I think we could probably pick it up for 275. We do so, you're putting down 68,750. We'll get the bank to kick in 206. Now, you're going to need about 35 grand to get this thing furnished. Don't worry, Holton Wise will handle all of that. I'm talking furnished, decorated, everything. We've thought of it all, we've got it all. We will go in there, build the couches, put the couches up, put the floor mats down. Stock the kitchen. Make sure we got some coffee makers in there. Hook up the Wi-Fi so people can watch their Hulu and their Netflix and their this or that. We'll get you an entire itemized list that breaks everything down, right? We got an itemized list for your toilet paper, for your toilet brush, right? For sippy cups for the kids, right? Hello, we're talking Cedar Point. They're going to be kids, you know? Stuff that you guys probably haven't thought of. Holton Wise, we've thought of it all. Over $200 million in sales in this market, all to investors like you, right? So the total investment should be about 310000 About 103000 should be up for up cost, right? And that's going to be 68750 for the mortgage and then thirty five k for all the furnishings and the fix-ins to get this thing going. Now, don't worry. You're not like having a shop on Amazon and buy it all. We do it all. So you can actually just pay us with credit cards. So in reality, you don't need that up front either. You put that stuff on a credit card, maybe do one of those 12-month no-interest cards. However you want to handle it, that's fine. We'll put the whole thing on a card for you. So you really only need about 68. But assuming you paid cash for everything, you're all in upfront investments, about 103750 right? So after you pay off your mortgage, that should kick off approximately a 36% return on your investment if things go according to plan. And you get a very nice brand new construction home dealing with tenants. Uh, I shouldn't say tenants. You're dealing with guests that are of higher income and can afford the nicer things, the luxury stuff. So you're not dealing with like the toilets and trouble and evictions and all that jazz you guys see on our evictions, uh, <coughs> our live eviction videos on the Tennis from Hell show, right? So should be a smooth operation. And I really dig this stuff. And I just dig all the atmosphere that we got out there. And it's crazy to think that Northeast Ohio would be a tourist destination. And uh, we are, right? Nobody thinks we are, but we are, right? Uh, it's not Miami, though, right? It's not Miami. It's not L.A. But, but you're not paying Miami or L.A. pricing, right? That's why you're able to pick this thing up for about 68 grand out of your pocket. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.